What's up, guys? Rob here, and really quick, I just want to let for want to let you guys know those people who own the Sharp Aquas Crystal, there is full root and recovery for the Aquas Crystal. Let me start off by saying that if you guys heard of a developer, Tui Love, that's an XDA, you need to go over to Tui Love's profile and give a big, big thank you for this root. Um, it's you know better late than never is the way I say this. But anyways, yes, there is root for this. I'm going to show you guys it has root um, and what to do. But, you know, to start off, basically, let me show you guys. I do have Super SU. Um, and now that I have Super SU, you guys can see that I have, like, things like Link to SD, Root Browser, and SD Made. Pretty much has root permissions right now. Um, I'm going to show you guys that it does have it. I'm going to actually run an application right here called Quick Boot. I'm going to show you guys that it does have Twerk Recovery. And we're going to click Recovery. And it's going to ask for root permissions. And we're going to go ahead and grant root permissions. And therefore, it is going to boot into recovery on its own. Now, that, see? Team win. Bingo. We got recovery. Now, I will do this later, but I am going to actually do a backup. So that is something that needs to be done before I do any modifications to my Aquas Crystal. So, um, link in the description to the APK file that roots this. It is a one-click root app. However, it's still a little unorthodox. So let me explain how it goes. Um, you download and install the app on your phone. Okay. Now, before doing this, you have to make sure that you're on um, software version. I think it's 7.3. Hold on, I'll look at it right now. Um, Go to settings real quick, and I'll show you guys what software version you're on. If you're not on the software version, then I do not recommend you try this at all. Software version S7232. So you need to be on that software version right there. If you're not on that one, update to that one. Um, but, yeah, anything else you do, uh, if you try it on, on a different one, you may mess your phone up. So, But, anyways, you download the um, this file. Let me show you guys what it looks like. And I'll, I've uploaded it to my Google Drive, so you guys, I'll put the link so you guys can download it, but there it is right there. It's uh, called root, in parentheses, it says 306SH, right there next to my set, uh, not my settings, but um, where's it at? Right there, next to um, root browser. It's a little Android character, it almost looks like the SD made um, icon, but without the made uniform on it. Um, there's... Uh, link in the description, you guys can download it from my Google Drive. And what you do is basically, once you have it installed, um, just run the application. Now, it's going to be a little bit weird because you're going to see this little anime chick kind of bent over. And there's this green loading progression bar at the bottom, okay? Once it gets to, once the bar loads completely all the way, what you have to do is you have to force reboot the phone. So, um, you can do that by holding uh, volume down and the power button. And you'll feel the phone vibrate for a long, you know, not, not a super long time, maybe I would say probably 30 seconds, it'll vibrate that long for 30 seconds. Uh, but once it's starting to reboot, um, let go, and then hold the volume down and power button again simultaneously until it boots into Torp Recovery, and that's where it's going to finish the root process. When Torp Recovery pops up, you'll see all the commands just start loading through, as it's rooting the phone, and then once that's done, it's going to reboot again, and you will have root, you will also have recovery installed, and um, it'll be permanent. It won't be a partial root or a temporary root. It's permanent. And that way you can enjoy um, using apps like Link to SD. Like, I've already noticed a speed increase on the Aquas Crystal, and a lot of the glitches that I've complained about before has ceased. And that's just because I've taken out some bloatware um, so far, but... Um, I do have to do a backup, which is something that I forgot to do, but I'm going to do a backup. At this point right now, it's currently working just fine, so I'm going to do a backup in Torque Recovery and store that backup on my PC. That way, if anything ever goes wrong, I can boot into Recovery and I can uh, restore the backup. But other than that, I mean, no custom ROMs yet that I know of. However, uh, right now, I really don't care, you know. I mean, it's still running KitKat, but it's just so much faster. I mean, just... So much faster with all the bloatware just taken off. Um, I really can't complain. And then having linked to SD with an additional SD card and moving all my apps to SD card, 
phone's going to fly flawlessly. So, um, again, shout out to Tui Love on XDA. You guys go over there and give a big shout out. Credit goes to Tui Love. I do not take credit for this at all. This is not my thing. I'm just showing you guys that there is full root custom recovery for your Sharp Aquas Crystal on Boost Mobile Sprint. Yeah. There you go, guys. So if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe that way on the mobile app if you have not. My name is Rob with the Law Android. Thanks for checking out my video. You guys will see me in the next one.